Ben Yallo. For the most part, I agree completely. Sorry. For the most part, I agree completely with this motion. The one issue that I have, and I had it with both the motion and the original version of 4.4, I am still convinced that including WISFIS committee reports is fine because we control WISFIS committee reports. Worldcon annual final, Worldcon annual financial reports are constitutional entities separate from the business meeting. And I really do not think that the business meeting has the right to bind Worldcons other than through the Constitution. I would therefore propose to amend this to drop the and all Worldcon annual financial reports from this. And I realize that, yes, that is in the old 4-4, but I think it was a mistake in the old 4-4, and I'd like to take the opportunity to fix it now. Is there a second for that? Second. Point of order. <laughs> yep. Like this one, I know. Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, I raise a point of order that although we do show that although we do show the context of where we make amendments, that in the form this was made, the member's motion is outside of the scope of the original proposal. Yes, I think that is correct, Ben. If you want to draft it up and bring it into tomorrow's meeting as a completely separate motion, I will put it on the agenda. All right, so we're back looking at the original. Anybody wish to speak in favor? Anyone wish to speak against? Nobody doing so, we'll now vote on it. Those in favor of this amendment to the standing rules, please show. Those against? Ooh, there were a couple, so it's not quite unanimous, but passed anyway. <laughs> Right, well, that brings us to business passed on. The uh, motions that were passed last year in Helsinki and which we need to consider ratification. Now, that was. First one up, C1, what our marks really are. This is a, basically the Mark Protection Committee saying we don't want to amend the Constitution every time we get a new mark. We just want to tell people what it is. We have five minutes debate on this. Does anybody wish to speak in favour of this motion? Anybody wish to speak against this motion? Thank you. Those in favour of ratification of item C1 show. Those against ratification show. Thank you, Kent. <laughs> Passed. Ratified. Yeah, Don. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> S item C2, the reasonable amendment. This is a technical but kind of important one uh, that strikes out best efforts and re inserts reasonable efforts because best efforts can cost you a lot of money. Uh, we have five minutes on this. Anybody wish to speak in favour of the motion? Anybody against? Those in favour of ratification? Thank you, plenty. Those against ratification? None. Excellent. <laughs> motion is ratified. Um, let's see three. Make room, make room. Again, five minutes. It just uh, strikes. <coughs> sorry. Strike <coughs> strikes the five thousand word limit, which is pretty much inapplicable. 
um, but there are things that are going in where it would be useful to have that wiggle, extra wiggle room. Uh, we have five minutes on this. Uh, do we have a speaker in favour of this motion? Do we have a speaker against? Those in favour of ratification, please show. Those against ratification, please show. Passed. Right. Item C4, name that award, making the Young Adult Award the Lodestar Award. I was on this committee, so I will recuse and give hand you over to Jesse. <laughs> You'll notice that he decided to test me out on the one that we didn't set debate time to five <coughs> minutes for. <laughs> So this is, uh, as I said, item C4, uh, name that award, and uh, renaming the YA award to the Lodestar Award. We have set debate time at 10 minutes. Is there anyone wishing to speak in favor? State your name. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anna Bloomstein, and I served as the chair of the YA committee. Um, Tomorrow, we're going to present a YA, a WISPIS YA award for the, at Worldcon for the very first time. Yeah. Currently, this award does not have a name. To, we wish to ratify this amendment so that it will have a name. To arrive at the name of Lodestar, we took a full year, full year to solicit feedback from the community consult experts and debate among ourselves. Um, the, we wrote a report which is available online so you can learn more about this process. A load star is a guiding star that leads the way. It serves as both a s science fiction with a celestial theme and also fantasy as the stars have guided the fantastic journeys and stories old and new. Our award was passed in Helsinki, and we ask that you now ratify the name. Thank you. Is there anyone wishing to speak against? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? All right, seeing none. Those in favor of ratification, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those against, please raise your hand. <laughs> I believe that passes by a decent margin. Yep. And now I'm passing you back. <laughs> right. Normal service is resumed, yes. I was thinking of calling a break at this point. We've only been underway for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 <laughs> minutes. Terry. We believe, except for the head table, that we have picked up all the ballots. Does anyone still have a ballot? Raise it, raise your hand and we will come and pick it up. Pass it down. Thank you. Thank you. Balloting is now closed for the Mark Protection Committee. Um, do we have a couple of volunteers who know how preferential that balloting works who can count them for us? Seth and Warren? Sorry, you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Right. First item of new constitutional amendments. These are things we can debate, delete, or uh, send to committee or whatever. Uh, for, they're up here for the first time. We can do anything we like with them. First one, pretty much, <laughs> remote but real. Uh, we have 10 minutes on this. It deals with the uh, attendance at the business meeting and videoing of the business meeting. Um, Kate, as a maker of the motion, would you care to speak at this point? Uh, 